background's different again because I didn't film during the day. Because I napped instead. So. Yeah. Hi, guys. It's Beatrix, and I'm back with another Confessions of an Aspie. Um, and I am doing another fidget toy video or fidget toy haul thing sort of yeah I don't know what to call it and again these are like my honest opinions on these I just went out to mastermind and bought them all so I'm sure you can find them all at your local mastermind or other places that sell fidget toys and I bought them myself to try them out and I will give you my honest opinion on them so that's how this video works I have five fidget toys. Let's start with this one. Because inside, so basically there's a little marble in here and there's levels and you have to go through a maze. It's more so a puzzle than anything. But I mean, sometimes you fidget with puzzles, right? Or mind games, people fidget with Rubik's Cubes. Um, so basically, I don't know where the fuck this comes off. You see, this is the first level. Or the last level. Yeah. And I don't know where the ball and there's all of there's all of these. And each one's in is a maze. And you have to like tilt it through dropping into the next level. Next level, if you drop it through each one, oh the ball marble will drop through level by level. Eventually it'll come out. And you'll see it on this side. Like, if you lose the ball, you take it apart. And, like, if you can't figure out where in the maze you are, you take it apart to start over. And... Because that's really not annoying at all. Um, I don't like that fact. Um, I don't like... That... Green is supposed to be, like, not, like, super easy, but, like, the normal level. And I cannot get it. This toy, like, as much as you, like, fidget it and you try and follow the map. I guess the little road maps that are, like, engraved in here. It just frustrates me. I can't figure it out. Just, like, the Rubik's Cube. I tried to, like, do fidget, fidget as a Rubik's Cube. It just frustrated me. So if you get frustrated easily, I do not suggest inside so yeah see this is regular not so the it's called inside z cube inside z cube i do not suggest inside z cube if you get frustrated easily or you don't want to do like a challenge or something i mean actually a lot of my these ones are puzzles this time around but i enjoy most of them that one though like i bought it thinking it'd be super fun and cool it has just driven me nuts. I literally have not played with it at all. So it is not too loud. You can hear it very tight. So it actually is good for quietness. But again, if you have to focus on something else or something, I would not suggest inside Z-Cube. Let's move on to this. This is what it looks like. It's two, almost like the binder rings or whatever. The rings you put in a binder. And then two beads and it has them across. You flip it whatever way. I don't know. And this one literally just like had a tag on it and said fidget toy for however much. And it is so much fun. Frig. Like, just how loud it is. So it's pretty good. It could work for like a desk or school. And it is actually so much fun. Um, these are nice and smooth. I would prefer it if like, because these are like giant key rings. If they didn't have like the or where you could open them if they're just solid rings I think that texturally would be better but of course I can just rotate the ring so that that part is inside the bead so it's not always the worst but this one by far is definitely pretty freaking amazing I like this one a lot and it would be good for school and office and stuff it was literally just called the fidget toy just two beads and rings and it came in a bunch of different colors and sparkly and it's a hell of a lot of fun easy to do with one hand you can both do with two hands this one definitely gotta suggest that one next one we're gonna do 
Oh my gosh. This is gonna make so much freaking noise as I talk. So, there. This one, I don't think has a TV. I think it's called, like, it was like the Marble Maze or something, or like the Marble Puzzle. Basically, it has these plastic slots, and what you're trying to do is get the size marbles sat, or you're trying to roll them around and sit them into their proper spots and get them all sitting in whatever hole they're supposed to be in whatever hole they're supposed to be and like that's the puzzle so you like focus around and you move and you try and get each marble sitting in their proper little hole now this one's actually a lot of fun um i have yet to solve it but yeah this one's actually a lot of fun i have not yet to solve it completely but i do like this and trying to get them through and also just like i like the noise um definitely can't use this in an office or school environment it's more so at home when you're if you're trying to relax or something i would suggest this it came in multiple different colors different puzzles there's like different things for different holes like very easier ones harder ones i picked this one because it looked pretty cool i think this is one of the harder ones but um i'm liking it yeah that's the marble puzzle next one is this there so this is called a fidget for your digit and basically you just put it on your fingers and just fidget around with it um it's just a bunch of zigzag wire and and you roll it on your you know. I'm pretty sure I always drop the toys in every video I make but yeah this fucking feels amazing like I could literally go like this okay that looks really wrong but like just pull it on my fingers like pull it on my fingers and roll it on my fingers especially my thumb it just feels great I could do this all day the corners when they're like in your skin feel so freaking amazing and like it's stretchy and pliable like not this ain't gonna go anywhere in. and I could freaking wear it as a ring if I had to like I don't know go somewhere fancy and I'd be like yeah this is like my ring or but then you can totally fidget with it this texturally is amazing because every single like little corner, I can feel every single little one all over and it like stim oh. How many times am I gonna drop things? Stimulate it like me so much. Oh, it just feels so great. Because I am sensory, I can feel it all and this is one of those senses where like I just do it over and over and over and over and over for like ever. It's also like doesn't make any noise it's very discreet again you wear it as a ring you could just carry it around definitely good for an office or school it's called fidget for your digit and it's just lovely oh my gosh it feels great I like rub this on my face it feels fucking amazing yeah definitely suggesting this 110% fidget for your digit um and it was only like two bucks oh. there it goes I just like always drop toys in every fidget toy video ever and last but not least I have an Orbo so this is a puzzle I guess kind of like a Rubik's Cube what you want to do is get like the color of the ball so this is like a black ball you want to get that in the black hexagon and so you want to match all the right ones to the right one and then this one will be empty but they will only move over one let me see if I can like so like that and then this one's empty, so then, I don't know. I can't see how to do this puzzle from this angle, but yeah. And what's inside is just, literally it's like what would be a stress ball, like that kind of texture. So that's pretty cool. Um, pushing into these, it took me a little bit to figure out like how hard I had to push, but like it's not, I don't really need, it just rolls right under and slides into whatever spot. Of course, it can only go to the ones around it. Um, I think that this is a lot of fun. I wouldn't even necessarily always have to do the puzzle. I would just freaking play around with it and just pop the balls whatever way I wanted. Oh, look! Randomly. Yay! We did it! Yeah, but yeah. This is, I love this. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's very, everything is so smooth because I guess it is a ball. It's all the same texture. 
the balls, I haven't noticed any like seams on the balls, which sometimes drive me nuts, like where it would be shut. Obviously, I haven't noticed that. It's just all smooth and lovely, and I don't know, it's a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, this is called an Orbo. Definitely cannot, I don't think you could get away with this at a school or an office because when the ball pops through, it makes that noise. So I don't think people would appreciate that. But it is just something when I'm like sitting around, I can just like mess around with, do it one hand, do both. Or I can like actually freaking try and do the puzzle, I don't know. But definitely the Orbo is one of the ones I would definitely do the way to go. Um, I find it way less frustrating than uh, the Rubik's Cube. Those, are, that's my little fidget toy haul, haul and review. 110% these two for all situations. Definitely loving this one, and the other two, I guess it's kind of your decision. Um, I still do enjoy this one a lot, but some people might not, and it's also really loud. Um, oh my gosh, it's just, it's not even shut now. And inside Z Cube, I just, I can't get it. Um, I don't enjoy it, but if you do, that's cool. Um, let me do, let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried any of these, um, or if you want to try any of these, if you guys could give this a thumbs up, that would be awesome. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.